Okay. <laughs> Hello, dear friends. Good morning. Such a beautiful, beautiful morning. Here I am on my Yiqi shop. I can go a little bit zoom in so you can see a little bit. And this video is about uh, um, how I execute Yiqi order. But very first, we will take a look at this Yiqi shop. And this is definitely not the best Yiqi shop, most successful Yiqi shop. But we can start from here to see how it works. You can put a, a store picture, so it's better to pick, put a picture of your store. So here you can see, okay, this is the store picture. I found it. Um, and uh, made some, th this was one time I did this uh, uh, yogurt with cherry. And I see it's a, a quite a pretty picture. There is a different color in it. So I choose this one. From time to time, uh, you can make a new picture, but make sure you have uh, just an interesting picture. It's not the best, but uh, quite a, a humble picture, I feel. Okay, so you can put yourself on it or something you are familiar. And I always think Ichi is about something yourself. So um, if there is a possibility, use your own picture, your backyard, your plant, your, your trees, uh, your flower, something that you absolutely own it. Do not use, um, try to avoid use other people's picture. It's just the authentic, authenticity and, uh, <laughs> and it's a showcase. Why not use it, right? So this is the uh, store picture. And uh, I also have a picture of myself. Let's see. So this is myself. It's, a, I think, it's always better to put uh, <clears throat> your picture. Since I already do a YouTube video, I already showed up my face. So it's better to put myself face. If you are not comfortable showing your face, definitely you do not have to. But I feel it's more convincing. And here, there are some different designs. You can put a banner on it. I have chosen not to put a banner. The beauty of not putting a banner. I have more room. You can see here, there is almost no space used. Oh, oh. <laughs> this way better. So, this place, I can choose to put a banner or not to put. If I put a banner, there will be a full banner or a small banner. It will take up a lot of space. So there is less chance to see your product, right? So I choose not. And this is a simple, I like it as simple as possible. Put a store picture. This does not take much space. So... So the store picture put, and your face picture or something put it, and make it as simple as possible, so people can go directly to your store. <clears throat> so the products, I have some digital products, which has not yet taken off, so I put it on the featured. You can put four products on your featured, and I do change it once in a month, not uh, regularly, very irregularly. Just when I have something, I put it there. It does not attract many people because my main source is still through my YouTube, through people knowing me. I am not yet very good. I am not good at getting people not knowing me to my store. That is not my strength. And what I am doing is still using my website, uh, my, my um, 
sometimes from Facebook, but not so many, mostly from my YouTube. People know and come to the channel, come to my shop. And you can see featured item, not so important. And then the items you can put into different sections. I think you can put at most 20 or something sections. So you go to here, we are in all, all of the products. I have some I self-made, some I have chosen, vintage, vintage or something. And we can go directly to one particular thing. So these are paper and stationaries. I have my <clears throat> digital paper download and oh this paper I should yeah uh, these are the digit these are the real paper and stuff and stationaries. I put it here and you can go to jewelry. This one um, I did uh, think and do. It's uh, through um, through uh, I think Teespring uh, a printer. It's what it's kind of a digital product. I made the design and they do the fulfillment of the the um, the contract. It's a uh, an not really drop shipping, but I only provide the design. The design is mine, and they do this. So it's a franchised uh, execution. It does not work very well yet. I do not know it will have a future or not. And then you can see the original paintings. These are the original paintings. I have three or four stacks of original paintings and uh, there is no chance you put everything here. So I uh, sometimes I alternate, sometimes I put it and people like. I sold out one, only one left and then I put a new one uh, to, to make a different design. So original painting, there is only one left, right? Mm. Okay, now let's see the handmade cards. I made different kinds of cards, silk painting card. These are silk paintings. And uh, this kind of the starting of my business, I started to do um, Chinese painting, Chinese writing, and uh, start to, to sell. This is my very, I think, almost this item, this particular item, has been here for more than, more than 10 years. And from time to time, I renew it, renew it. If it is sold out, I renew it. And because it's a, it's kind of a, a, a renewable product. You put several, this is a, a, around 10 years ago, so the, <laughs> the picture was not very good, you can see. And uh, when you see the real thing now, I think when you see it, it, it feels better. So I have a full picture of it and then individual picture of them. As I um, as I change, as I grow, as I do, uh, there are some difference. I have some small adjustment, but this is mostly this item. Okay, let's go back. Oh, this one we will not go back. We go close that window, and uh, I have teas and accessories. It seems a little bit too much. Fifty one item in one particular category. It makes it quite confusing. So I will, um, I will separate into tea, and uh, gems, and uh, tea cups and tea accessories. I will later on 
take care of that a little bit. So you see, this has become so big. One page is not even enough. You go to two pages. So it's kind of a, a hard for people to, to, I do not know. I find it interesting, but it's kind of a, a everything combined together. A little, a little bit confusing, right? So ink, ink sticks and colors and books and magazines. Oh, oh, you are not seeing it very clearly. Okay, now it should be a little bit better. So we are in the book section. Now we go to brush and pens. And 20 items, I have much, much more than 20 items. But if you have too many, it's a little bit out of control. So, for example, this extra slender pure wolf hair brush. This is such a beautiful brush. I do not have many of it. Oh, only one available. So... Something you do not have a lot, you do not try to promote it that much. Something you can re reproduce, something like handmade card, you can reproduce. And this is a material that I need to go back to China, and I do not go back to China this year. So uh, leave it there. Do not put too much attention in something that's not so renewable. I mean, the renewable in the sense you can, uh, you can renew that listing. Yeah. So these are the brushes, and I have art prints. Art prints is definitely very renewable, because I took those original paintings. Here are the original paintings. Some of the original painting looks cool and beautiful and the color matching and the color printing easy to express. For example, this one, this blue mountain, I make it into an original painting. Watercolor is not very easy to reproduce into the same kind of feel into art print. Uh, it's not only because of the quality. Uh, it is because of quality. There is just this much nuance in it. I try sometimes. It does not work very well. So original painting... I try to make original painting watercolor and this kind of prints, art prints, works very well on acrylic painting. These are acrylic paintings and some of these acrylic painting, especially this one, I have put, this one is use an old piece of canvas. It's a it's the second layer or even third layer of painting. I have canvas and then I cover it up. One time, not good work, cover it up with white color, with other color, then paint it again. Mistake, cover it up so you can see the texture. And in, oh, you can see here, this does not show very well, but... Um, in real print, you can see the texture. Uh, you can see this is actually a piece of a, a, a reused, so I cannot make it flat. And it creates that turbulence of water, the, uh, the, 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 the movement of water and the unevenness of water, which is quite interesting and take some of these pictures. As you can see, my picture is not very good, and uh, that is okay because you have seen it through video, through my YouTube video. Um, if you have the ability, or if you rely on solely, only rely on, uh, rely on, how do I say it, rely on, uh, 
Etsy shop picture to get people coming to you and look for you, then you definitely need much better quality. But the most important thing is to get that listing. Quality second. Think and do. Make the action even if it is not perfect. You can always go back to edit it. For example, this one, I can edit it. I can edit this picture and add new picture, add a video and, uh, and uh, uh, add a mock-up. I do not do mock-up. I just feel... <laughs> I, I, I feel that there is a lot of mock-up. We need some originality. And this other picture I took on a piece of black paper. This is on the wall. And, uh, okay, we see this picture. This picture is on the wall. I took the picture and, uh, and uh, on the back is a piece of... Uh, um, it's a piece of a big watercolor paper and I dye it with tea, tea color. And this piece of, this is on the table, one of those tables, I think. Oh yeah, this might be another piece of a, um, watercolor board paper. Anyway, so you get the idea. Okay, let's see. The stay on page, leave page. Oh, I didn't, I didn't do anything. So stay on page. No, we can leave page. We didn't do anything. So art print, and I have other stickers, and I have those stickers also in transparent, and uh, I put it. You can see, you can do the listing when you shop. You can make the listing whether it's transparent or not transparent. This one is not the best sample for it. Anyway, um, <clears throat> so you have I have these stickers and digital downloads. And for now, oh, oh I have a digital download for my uh, uh, for my food. So maybe I will put another listing of the recipe, cooking recipe. Uh, I have a, a lemon curd making recipe, so I will later on do it. So by coming here every day, now and then, once in a week, once in a month, take care of it, browse through so that you know what is inside it. It helps you to make it uh, to make it better, to make some improvement. There is always a way to improve. Okay, now let's go back to my shop. So here is my shop. You can see I have 193 um, notice. The problem is that my shop used to be. Um, my shop opened and then there is ET update and I cannot update the previous notices. If I want to uh, update the previous notice about shipping, I will need to send shipping. There, I have done one time. Used to be 200 something. I sent a notice, your order has shipped, which was 10 years ago. And then one friend said, you must have sent a wrong shipment notice. So I just ignore it, let it leave this number. Every time when I see 193, it means no new notice. If there is 194, I know there is no one new notice. So this is um, shop manager. In this shop manager, you can see what is sold. I, you do not need to see the revenue. Okay, I didn't show you the revenue. That's good. So you can see how many visits you get and what is your 
uh, order. So I have two orders within a week. I will take care of it and then I will click on it and do the, the shipping and things. I will not click for now because there is information of this, uh, um, this person who bought from me the address and things. I will stop for here and do the shipping. Okay, now I am clicking. Okay, so here I clicked and uh, in the order and shipping in this section, you can find what is there. And in the message, you will find message in the order and shipping. You click, it co comes up what has been sold. So I will choose more action. Click on one particular uh, so order. you go to here and you can, uh, in the more more action, you can print it. So you can print the shipping um, bill of lading or uh, bill of lading. It's, a, it's a, such a big word. You can uh, print out the invoice and get shipping label. So click on shipping label, it connects with USPS, US Post, Postal Service, and you can choose. Usually make sure that uh, <clears throat> the weight is covering what you are doing, uh, what you are shipping. Be honest, otherwise uh, there will be problem in post office. It is okay if you have one or two times make the mistake. They still ship you because you have your credit information in your Etsy shop. So they will charge you any extra. And uh, I have done this. Sometimes I forgot to... Um, Oh, let me see. Great. Didn't show any name. So sometimes I get uh, a couple of ounces missing. Then they charge me more. And uh, it will be shipped out. They will charge you. So do not worry too much about it. And it will not dent your credit from my experience. But... Uh, get it later on charging for you, it's not as good as you just in advance get yourself ready. If it is one pound, make sure it is one pound. If it is uh, two pounds, write honestly two pounds and uh, write the original uh, amount. And the size, the size doesn't matter that much. It's mostly depending on the weight. I will not go to too much detail. This is, uh, once you do the shipping, you will go step by step and knowing that. Now I will do the shipping and go ahead with my packaging.
yeah I need to show you my <laughs> plum jam this is the plum jam out of the refrigerator a little bit liquidy and it's very good for um, uh, a very very good for putting in yogurt and there is not a lot of it uh, packed in the, the gluey stuff so it's very easy to dilute with yogurt I put one spoon of it and uh, yogurt and then shake 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 and that is good so this is another uh, patch it's actually they are the same golden uh, plum this one a little bit uh, um, overcooked and this one is less overcooked I think there is a little bit of caramel in the bottom when I do it so this has more sweet this has more this one has more uh, sourness anyway um, each one <laughs> each one is a little bit different this is apricot jam plum jam they look very much different but the apricot with more brighter color and uh, this one looks almost like a lemon right it's a uh, the golden plum jam this one is and this one this is for my uh, own consumption so I use this old bottle you can see let me open it this is a fig jam and it's a very 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 good every time I make fig jam to my surprise it's a so bright color see uh oh you do not see because the light is not in in your favor <laughs> it's a pure red bloody red color beautiful anyway that's about it let me find the apricot i think i put the apricot uh, label somewhere and uh, <clears throat> no matter where it is this is the apricot yes this is the apricot so I will cut it I will use and this is the same date same date so I will use glue stick to put it this way is a little bit better why because it's easy to clean this is a student water washable glue stick so you can easily clean it up and this one is also easy to peel it off but uh, It's even easier to peel it off. This is apricot jam. They are the same date. Apricot jam. And uh, uh, the most, the biggest problem in, in doing online business is nothing but the shipping. The shipping costs a lot. And uh, the shipping price is just to keep the kept on increase 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 make it uh, quite uh, hard to, to do a business transaction and I make free shipping so I cover up the shipping fee mostly so you do not need to worry about all this it's just uh, <laughs> simple like that your original price plus shipping fee shipping usually five dollar uh, ten dollar something like it and that is it make it easier and another thing you can do is shipping one bottle how much shipping two bottle how much make the difference 
one bottle is five dollar two uh, uh six dollar two bottle is twelve dollar there is not much difference S three bottle is sixteen seventeen dollar and four five six is almost the same as a three that there is a price a jumping point now i need to get a Silk card. <clears throat> That's the flower. Blue flower. Pink flower. There is no way you can get it completely, um, completely in order. So as much as you can. Oh, this is pretty. I love it. This is so. <laughs> this is so. Um, wow. Look at it. This is so. <laughs> so unique. Let's say. This one. This pink and this one and the blue one. Yes, this three and with three envelopes. This cast does not cost me much because I <coughs> I cut the paper, I buy the, oh, this is different paper, should change another one, to make it from the same family. <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> this paper, this paper cost a lot of labor. I hand dye each piece of this paper, but uh, um, it does not cost money to buy. get three envelopes with three pieces of these, three envelopes, and it's better to cover it a little bit, right? So it's clean. And I will use um, a hand painted paper instead of uh, <laughs> instead of uh, this silk painting paper to write my greeting so much um, it makes me happy uh, yeah kind support stay safe enjoy Sweetness. I have not yet made <coughs> apricot jam recipe I will later on make it and uh, if I have I think I can use a smaller plate 
Is doing this job, lousy job. Don't like it. Do, 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 do. And also, um, I do not uh, buy shipping label. I mean, I do not buy shipping label paper. I use uh, uh, just normal paper, photocopy paper, to print it out. And uh, uh, I use... Uh, And I use masking tape to mask it, so that uh, I will not uh, spend too much money on every single money counts. You do not have to be looking too professional. This is a, a handmade business, and uh, people who support you will support you. They are not uh, thinking you are uh, a billionaire. They are not thinking you are just everything ready. No, it's not what uh, that is not our strength. So use the least material. One more bag. Good. This should be flat enough. Not moving. That's good. Sorry for the noise. Some people say this is a, a bad noise. That's. Uh, Another one and measure it if it is right. Yes, we are perfect. Perfect. Okay.
so that's the end. Okay. Okay, now I am done.